Hey guys, this is Lego Clone Fanatic doing my first Lego Marvel Super Heroes Iron Man 3 review. And I'll be doing it on 76008. Man, Iron Man vs. the Mandarin Ultimate Showdown. Ages 6 to 12, 91 pieces, and retails for $13. So let's start with the minifigures. We'll start off with Iron Man Mark 17 Heartbreaker Suit. It's a good figure all the way around. Good for you if you need a hull of armor or you're making one. Just to, spo just to warn you that this review will contain spoilers all around. So if you do not want, if you haven't seen the movie, then um, yeah, get off. Or if you don't mind, if you don't care, if you're not like one of those spoiler people that go like, oh, spoilers, I can handle it. So yeah, this is the Mark 17 Heartbreaker Ar Artillery RT level suit. So it's got repulsors, and it's got good front printing, good belt printing, and good leg printing, and also, also back printing, with all the blue and the gold and the red and silver. Um, this is the only Iron Man helmet to have the blue eyes. So yeah. And then he's got the old Tony Stark's face from Avengers. At the front and yeah, the angry. So there's that. So let's put him back here. And there we go. Here's a new figure. The Mandarin. Um Um I think this outfit that he's wearing is based on the concept art of what he was gonna wear. So he comes with black Bruce Wayne 2012 Batcave hair. He comes with um, a double sided head with this head as the main one and then that head. And then he comes with black beard. Oops. Black beard. As we've seen before on the wizard. On the wizard in some set. And then here is his concept art, what he was going to wear. It's mostly like a jungle outfit. And then back reading. Yeah. So let me put him back together. So, people say the set isn't good, because it's not really ultimate. But I think it's good for the minifigures. If you want to expand your Hall of Armor and get more villains for the Iron Man, then this is a good set for it. Because you can make Mandarin drive this. Um, and Mandarin also comes with a gun. Which goes right here on the side. Right here. So, uh, the Mandarin's car. Or buggy. Which, spoiler alert, he never uses in the movie. Because all three of these Iron Man sets are going to contain spoilers. Um, so, yeah. It's good. As I said before, if you want Mandarin to drive it, like with more villains. So it's got like, some kind of headlights right here. And it's got some kind of pipe that goes all the way around. And then this thing turns 360 with... Um, flames with flick fire missiles, which I'm just gonna push because I don't feel like flicking. And, yeah. Um. So yeah, and then the Mandarin can just sit down in here like this and go like, "Yeah, I'm driving. I'm driving some kind of weird dune buggy kind of thingy." ultimate weapon which just kind of when I first thought of this I went like oh it's probably gonna be bigger than the movie before I saw it and go like oh my goodness it can beat the Iron Legion how and I went like eh, it could be bigger and just Lego just mini sized it but nope it's it's this oh so, yeah there's also a few new pieces in this and I'll get onto that when we get take a look at the instruction manual. So yeah, it's not that much, but it's good for the minifigures. 
So onto the box. Um, you get the Mark 42 up here, like a Marvel Superheroes, the explosion, probably where Igor runs out of. Um, the docks where all the Iron Man fight, Mark 17, which is looking very cool. Mandarin just taking out his gun, probably to shoot Iron Man, which is just gonna deflect and hit somewhere else. Iron Man 3, all the schematics, or the 31, yeah. In the back is just gonna show flick fire, missiles, Iron Man, gonna put a repulsor in, Mandarin's face. Iron Man showing his mask, fl mask flip up, and then the thing turning. And then just a doom buggy car. So here's the that. Um, here's the instruction booklet. Saints uh, art is the front. Just a little bit wider. Because this thing shows Iron Man's repulsors cut off. And then show it back here. This one's got the whole entire thing. And then here's that. It's a new concept Lego wants us to do. Which I never do. And then there's the Mandarin building. And Iron Man building. Then there's there's one new piece, that piece. It's one of the one by ones with a stud sticking out, but it's two of those combined. And then yeah, so you get a total of two in there. And then there's I think this is a new piece. I haven't seen it in any other sets that I own. It's like one of the Imperial Landing Shuttle pieces that go on the side, but it's like a shorter and wider version. And then, yeah, there's a bunch of red. There's one red piece, a bunch of yellow, green, and gray. Because that's the extremist colors, the yellow, green, and gray. So that's extremist colors. I think this is a new piece. I don't think I own one of these. Um... Yeah, and it shows that. So you get a total of two of these pieces, one of these pieces, and then one of these pieces. So yeah, and then the Lego Marvel Superheroes ad, which I really want to get and possibly pre-order just for the for us for Iron Patriot, and I pre-order from. Well, if it's like a dollar, like the Chase McCain, then I'll get that. And then, or if it isn't, then I'll have to pre-order from Walmart. But if it's just a dollar, then I'll pre-order from GameStop. And get the extra heroes. Because Marvel. It's just Marvel. And then, if it's like more Iron Man armor, then I'll do that. Um, and then, actually, I saw a picture yesterday that the Iron Man right here, there's going to be a, the Mark 42, which is... This armor up here is going to be in the game. I'm like, wow. you got to be kidding me. So, yeah. That's my review on the Lego Marvel Super Heroes Iron Man 3 set. The Iron Man vs. the Mandarin Ultimate Showdown. This is Lego Com Fanatic, signing out.